Welcome to Window Clean Resources YouTube channel. My name is Steve of the Window Cleaner and today in water fed pole class I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to clean commercial glass with a water fed pole. Windowcleaner.com Set up today we have zero G hose going from the spigot to our zero pier or three stage purification system that going to the RHG hose reel with 100 feet of 3 8 inch diameter hosing inside keeping our pressure a lot better going to zero hose about a hundred feet of that going to our ultimate 40 with an 18 inch alpha hybrid tucker brush so let's get going okay so got a camera on the pole got your camera right there so basically I got just the pencil jets on here. I found with this building, pencil jets work best. I turn my water on there through my univalve. I just tug of that, got water going. So what I'm gonna do at these, at this place, is I'm gonna just work the top here real quick to get some of that dirt loosened up on the top of the frames. I'm gonna do that to all four of these windows. We're just gonna go over these four windows. So we clear that top. Just kind of work that seal a little bit, let some of that drip out. If this was a new clean, I would go do this to all of this row and then come back and start scrubbing the whole entire window pane. But for right now, for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna make you sit through all that. So we're just gonna work that top edge a little bit. We're not gonna really gonna rinse it off. I don't try to get frames like this wet. Now, if it was my first time, I'd scrub all the frames probably around the whole building and then come back and scrub the windows. So it would take a little bit, but after having it conditioned, you'd be fine. So now what I wanna do is I don't wanna hit that top edge too much, but I wanna get right up in there, kind of close to it, and I'm gonna box the window out. Two pools there. I like to go up and down on the bottom and then go to my side and then go up the side like that and box out my window. Scrub a little bit there and then just go back and forth on the window about a good four passes. I'm getting a little bit of air here in my line so the water's taking a little bit to really be consistent. You can see that. So we're gonna wait for that water to be consistent. The whole glass is all agitated as far as the dirt because I have the big hose line on there. I think we're getting consistent. Something sometimes you have to work through. Don't freak out, those are the kind of things that happen. I think we're good. So I'm gonna rinse the top without getting that top frame really wet here at all. You see my water, I have tons of air in the line. That'll kind of go away after probably the first five minutes. So we wanna rinse that glass off all the way down the glass, rinsing off all of the dirt. Okay, we'll move on to the next one here. Doing the same thing. We're gonna box our window out. Doesn't matter whether you start on the right side or the left side. And we'll go back and forth on the actual window pane. I like to say four times back and forth. Okay, and then here once again, just gonna rinse off our glass without trying to get that top frame wet. If you get that top frame wet, you can introduce more dirt to the glass and get the possibility of a lot of runs. And we wanna follow the water all the way down the glass to get all the dirt off. If you miss spaces, that can result in spotting. Okay, again, we're not gonna hit that top too much because we've already hit it when we precondition the frames. So we're gonna box out our window. Boxing out is just a good thing to get used to. Technically, you kinda of don't have to do it, but I've just gotten so used to doing it over the years that I always do it. And I suggest on windows like this size to get yourself an 18 inch brush to cover more space at a time. A 12 inch is perfect for homes, and 18 inch is usually perfect for commercial. If I was doing, um, 
a commercial job that was larger or that was dirtier, I would use a full bore hairbrush. But since I do this every six months, I know that the hybrid is just perfect for it. Okay. And then one more window, same technique over again. Back to our top, box out our glass. I kind of like to give it a little extra scrub. This is where I find, usually if I get spots, it's right here or at the top. Okay, work that side, and then we'll work the middle of the glass. Usually that top edge you want to really get rinsed well. That will rinse off most of the dirt coming down the glass. But it's good to follow that path down it almost like you're squeegeeing it. Just to make sure you're getting the best results possible all the way down the glass. Okay, well, pretty much the whole building looks like this. So I'll be doing the same thing on the whole entire building. And that's how you clean commercial glass with a water-fed pole. So I hope this helped you, and have a good day, and we'll talk to you soon.